With the new revival of the prop mover device in Fortnite, I decided to do something I wanted to do so much, but I can never do it because of missing this device. Now I can finally do that thing and it's making an elevator. I did it and here's how. And sorry about the bad upload schedule. Uh, I've been trying to just go into new content more. And yeah, before we really get started, I think we should just, I should just show how it really looks like. And it's pretty smooth. I, it's really, it's like the smoothest elevator I've ever, I've ever made. That was a tongue twister of words right there. And you can make it as tall as you want. And yeah, this is the thing, the recreation with all this stuff. But yeah, let's just jump right in. Once you're in game, uh, find a little area or like prop that you can use to make your real elevator. I'm using the elevator prop from the Neo Tilted, uh, burger thing over there and it works really well and then i just have some stuff around it so and you can also make it as tall as you want and it'll just like be more work and you'll just have to put a lot more stuff so the only real devices that you'll need is going to be your prop mover a button the class designer and the class selector and a mutator zone not this one the, the mutator zone where you can like move it around and stuff once you have all these things you're really just ready to go Place down your prop mover and make it sure it's facing upwards. Put it anywhere in there and place down your button on the side of the elevator. Now basically what you want to do is set up so that this button, when you when it's interactive with transmitted tw channel 20, and it starts when transmitted on channel 20. Don't make it go too far. I'm going to only make it 4 meters and around two meters a second because it'll just be a little bit too fast and we don't want to go too far edit these settings so that it doesn't do any damage and it'll just stop when uh it detects a, a player or another prop and we'll get back to that later but right now when we start up the game whenever we press this button the elevator will move us upwards and uh yeah it's a little bit off centered but it it works we can use the mutator zone uh to make it so that whenever we touch it it automatically stops the elevator we might do that but it seems pretty good for right now so i don't think we will if you wanted to have an automatic stop this is what i use for my elevator whenever the head of the player touches the mutator zone it will automatically stop the uh, prop mover. Now what we want to do is just duplicate this and make it go downwards. Copy this button and move it all the way up and try to line it up with the... Whatever the elevator side will be, but it doesn't ha it have to be perfect. Make it connect to both sides. And this is what it looks like in game. Pretty cool, right? But what if we want to make it even higher? Three stories high, four stories high. This is what you're gonna have to do. Duplicate this one and make it go even higher. Let's just say eight meters and make this one start from 22. I forgot to put it down here. Silly me. This is our level two one. This is our level three one. As you can see, it kind of go past this one. And this is what I'm talking about with the overgoing. It goes overlapping more. We don't want that to happen. So this is something that we can do to stop this. Grab a mutator zone. And just shrink that thing. Now line yourself up right on the doorway. Now bring it down to where just your head size. So as soon as you touch it, it touches your head. Now we want this one to activate when we go to level three. So we want to uh, enable when going to level, when we press the level three button and on player entry zone, uh, entry zone, transmit on channel 23. And also just disable itself whenever we, we're in. Make sure to put it so enabled during phase is set to none as well. Now let's find our level three one. This one right here. 
and make it pause whenever we touch that and resume whenever we press the button again because it's like whenever we stop it it's not gonna play anymore so that's why i want to pause it if we stop it we'll never be able to use it ever again that kind of thing boom now whenever we touch our head it stops the elevator uh pretty tall i don't i think i should like put this up a little bit more like pretty like the overlap is pretty big so yeah just gonna move that up a little bit now the final thing we want to do is place down our class selector it's gonna be a random class it could be any sort of team we just want to name this elevator make it i'm just make it two because i already have one and look up gravity and set that to really high this is because we don't want the players to be able to jump super high before the elevator like overlaps so that's why we are going to put uh, another mutator zone don't have to edit this one just move the height up to this and effects everyone and yeah now grab yourself a class selector and and then make it the class that's with you the second class or the class that you put the elevator as and when we walk into the zone, a player entering zone, transmit on channel 5, 25, player to player to class, when going to player 25. Now duplicate this zone and change it to 26. And now in this, when we exit the zone, we want it to change our class to none when we exit. This is basically just seeing when we're in the zone make us have high gravity or out of the zone just change it to normal line that up inside of your elevator and everything should be good to go now you have a working elevator you can make it go down more and with more buttons and more uh movers but this is basically how it's supposed to work If you enjoyed watching me rant about elevators for a couple minutes, consider subscribing. And uh, to support me even more, join my Discord server. We have a lot of members because of a TikTok I made, but like nobody talk. So if we get some active chats, I'll make some giveaways probably. And yeah, thank you all for 100 subscribers. <laughs> I, really, I really appreciate that. That's like, the, that's like my dream to get 100 subscribers. Thank you all so much.